All right. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is how we actually measure these distances. So these stars are a mind boggling distance away. Uh, and so it seems strange that we can measure them at all. And um, to measure stars, the one of the best ways to do so is to use the method of triangulation. And this is used by surveyors on Earth all the time. And the method of triangulation is very simple. It just says that if we have a triangle and we know one of the distances along that triangle and one of the angles, then we can measure every other attribute about the triangle. So for example, if I have the baseline distance, that's the distance between two survey points, and I have the angle um, of one of these corners, make the other one a right angle for convenience, um, then I can get the distance to some unknown object. Um, and so again, using right angles for convenience, coming back to trigonometry, which you may or may not have studied, um, just see if you know, and if you don't, go ahead and guess which one of these would correctly describe the relationship to the angle shown here. If uh, I have a right triangle where Y is my opposite side from the angle and X is my adjacent side. All right, so no need to discuss here. So remembering our Soka Toa, or maybe if you don't know Soka Toa, then it says the sine is opposite over hypotenuse from the angle. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and it's the tangent that's the opposite over adjacent side. So in this case, C would be the correct answer. Um, so my equation that I could use to measure an unknown distance, let's say I measure X, this is my baseline. I'm gonna observe from two positions at either side of X. So if I measure X and then I can also measure the angle theta, then I can calculate some unknown distance Y. All right, so I did this at my house just to um, show you a demonstration. We could do this in the classroom, but we're not in one. So I resort to sharing photos with you of my own experimental setup. Um, I put a piggy bank at the end of my kitchen table. And what I wanna know is how far is it from this side that I'm standing on to my pig. And the setup that I used to do this um, I just had to throw something together in order to get a reasonable amount of experimental consistency. So what I did here is I just, I taped a protractor to a box just because it had a handy vertical line. And then I taped my phone to the other side so that it, the lens was right above that vertical line. And then I put um, that at one end of my table in front of the pig, all right? And basically lined it up so that I was looking dead ahead at the pig, all right? So that set up my vertical observation for the unknown distance. And then I needed to make the other observation, right? The observation at an angle. And so to do that, I scooted over to as far as I could go on the other side of my table. And oops, this is going to go too far. There it is. And then I again used my handy dandy guide to measure the pig and marked off the distance with tape. So here is the distance marking for side one. And then I moved to the other side of the table, sighted the pig from that side and marked off side two. And I also put that tape in the direction of my viewing direction so that I can measure the angle with a protractor. All right, so to make this more clear, this is the triangle, the right triangle that I'm using. Um, one observation was made straight on, one observation was made at an angle and now I use my ruler to measure the distance between the tapes. And I use my protractor to measure the angle at this lower left-hand corner, all right? And when I did this, this is what I measured. I measured an angle of 64 and a half degrees from my zero to the edge of my tape where I had one sight line. And the distance along X at the bottom of my triangle, my baseline distance was 60.3 centimeters. So now I wanna know how far is the pig. So um, solving my equation from before for my unknown distance Y, I get Y is equal to X times the tangent of theta. And so go ahead and practice whether you have a calculator or whether you are using Google as your calculator, um, calculate my unknown distance. I'll give you a minute to do this. So let me show you, demonstrate um, how to use Google as a calculator in case you, like me, don't have a calculator handy. So let me go ahead and 
go to Google and share with you my screen again. Okay, so uh, the X distance was 60.3 centimeters. So I type 60.3 times tangent of, and then I need my angle, which was 64 and a half degrees. When you use Google as a calculator, you have to be very explicit about whether you're using degrees or radians, which is the other unit of angle that Google understands. If you don't tell it degrees, Google's gonna assume you meant radians. All right, so if I enter this, then handy Google calculator gives me 126.4 centimeters. It's in centimeters because my baseline was also measured in centimeters. All right, so that's what I got to, 126 centimeters. And then when I actually measured it, I did actually measure this distance. And when I did that with, I just measured the distance to the pig with my ruler. And when I did that, I got 136 centimeters. So using my experimental setup, even as careful as I was trying to be, I was still off by about 7%. So um, tell me more about this error. And I actually wanna not do this just as a chat question, but I want you to go into your breakout rooms and uh, discuss some of the errors in, in the experimental setup that could have contributed to that 7% error in my calculation, all right? Because the same types of errors that I um, am susceptible to here in my kitchen um, are also something that astronomers need to watch out for when they're measuring the distances to stars.